Let's take a quick look at the pea leaf weevil. It feeds on field peas and faba beans. This is an adult here that it's gonna be feeding above ground, but it's really the larvae that are below ground feeding on root nodules that are causing that economic crop damage. It has been a bigger problem in Alberta and Saskatchewan, and it has started to move here into Manitoba and we are finding it. So the red check marks are confirmed sightings. We are still trying to get an idea of its distribution here though, so we are scouting for it and trapping for it to try and find it. So for scouting for it, we're gonna be looking at faba beans and field peas when they're at that V2 to V3 stage. And what we're specifically looking for is evidence of adult feeding, which is these leaf notches on the edges of leaf margins. Or you might be able to find the adult weevil scampering around on the soil surface, you might be able to catch one. But what we traditionally do right now is we're trapping for the pea leaf weevil. These traps go in on the field edge and we're hoping to capture the weevil as they move from their overwintering ground as they move into the crop. So inside the trap, there's that pheromone baited lure that's drawing them in, and then they fall into the trap. And then we sift out the weevils. Here's some examples of, this is a weevil that I found in the trap last week in near Plumas. And what we need to do is actually identify the weevil. Do I have the pea leaf weevil or is it another species of weevil? Because there are other ones out there feeding on them. This is a guide produced by the Saskatchewan Pulse Growers to help you tell those weevils apart. Now, I'm not a bug expert, so I called John Govoloski and he helped me out. So the weevils we found in that trap near Plumas are actually the alfalfa curculio. So they're not feeding on peas. We're just accidentally trapping them because of that pheromone. So that's great news. Field Heroes has produced this Pests and Predators field guide, which you can order for free from their website at fieldheroes.ca. And it contains a little breakdown on each pest and also the predators and field heroes out there that are eating them. So for pea leaf weevil, that's the ground beetles and the rove beetles that we want to look for when we're out there scouting for them as well. And just wanted to mention that. So with that, thanks for taking a little bit of time today to learn about the pea leaf weevil.